All museums with fossils are wonderful. But the best museums, the most wonderfulest museums, are where you can take your digits and touch and caress actual real bone. Not only real bone, but a famous real bone. This is the funny bone, yellow bone, of one of the first giant long-necked dinosaurs found in the world. The Jurassic really began here in Morrison, Colorado. 1877, a brilliant man, Arthur Lakes, working on his own, recognized these giant bones found along the cliff and said, aha, this is new, this is different. And pretty soon he had excavated not one, not two, but four thunder lizards. And they were sent back, the bones were sent back to Yale where Professor Marsh named them Apatosaurus. And later on he named Brontosaurus from a similar critter from Wyoming. But kids can touch the elbow of this gigantic long-necked plant-eating dinosaur and learn about the history of science and the history of life and the grand themes of evolution. They can touch them. Boy, when I was a kid, when I was in the fourth grade, I would have killed to be able to massage the funny bone of an apatosaurus. I would have killed. Really, I was from Jersey. We would have killed. This is a fantastically live exhibit. It's live because it gets in your brain and you can't keep it out of your brain. You want to know more about it. And once again, I would call all you adults who are bored with dinosaurs, it's okay to be bored because your kids won't be. Support this museum because these are jumper cables for the human mind. Thank you.